Alright, in this video we'll be showing how to how to connect a 1203 USB Allen Bradley adapter to a Kinetics 6000 servo drive. And we will do, be doing this by showing the how to set up the driver and RS links and use the adapter and go through um, drive tools and drive executive. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started and we'll click, click on our RS Links, links Classic. This is uh, using a Windows 7 uh, operating system and it's using a 1203 USB uh, firmware 1.004. Now in RS Links you want to go to configure drivers, open that up, go to available driver types, you want to select the RS232 DF1 devices. Click Add New. And then click OK. This should pop up the configuration for that driver. At this point, you want to change it from device, change the device to uh, or from PLC channel zero to a scan port. You want to also change the baud rate. So change the baud rate from its default of 19 to, uh, 200. To 11 and right now we will not set up our COM port you can but uh, I would recommend first and foremost you go ahead and use uh, your device manager so let's do that first so right now we'll click this is it's fully set up your driver should pop up and then we'll come to device manager in your PC so open up device manager and you'll look under what you want to look for is called ports so in ports right here you'll see that there's not a there is no 1203 USB connected right now so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and plug it in okay so with it plugged in you see now it has the Allen Bradley 1203 USB and it's a note that it's on COM port 3. So now that we know what, what port it's on we come back to RS links configure the, the same driver we just got to uh, adding change the COM port to COM 3. Uh, you do not want to use the auto config not for this anyway because it's a scan port. Click OK Says that it's running. Now we want to open up the driver to verify that it is running. And what you should see, being that our station that we set for the driver is station zero, that's our actual computer station. It shows up station zero, and then the Allen Bradley servo drive, which is the Kinetic 6000 shows up as an ABDPI. Now this is a general format for drives in, in general. It doesn't, it's not necessarily going to pull up a, a kinetics uh, symbol right here or AOP. So at this point we know we're good. Uh, we want to open up drive tools, drive executive, And when Drive Executive opens up, you can click right here, which is Connect to Drive, or you can go to Drive and then Connect to Drive. It's really all in your preference. Okay, and it should pull up your RS links. If it doesn't, if it pulls up RS links and it shows um, the driver doesn't show up, or doesn't show up automatically, just simply auto auto browse it and you'll see it. So right now we want to we want to click that same servo drive that ABDPI. We want to click OK. At this point, it should connect. When it connects, it's going to upload. This could take up to uh, about 15 minutes or 20 minutes to upload. It depends on how big a drive or servo you are using. This is actually a servo rack. Uh, I have previously gotten on this rack just to save time. Uh, for 
for this video. So don't be alarmed. You're not going to get all you know online as quick as I just did, unless you had previously got online. Now, while now we're online with with the servo, we can see that there's axis one, which is the IMA or IAM. I'm sorry. Uh, the axis two and axis three, axis four. We also see that we have our 1203 USB. Now, if you click on the uh, parameter list right here you can tell that what version uh, firmware version that you're running on your your kinetic 6000 controller and right now we're running this version uh, you can change this as far as what you're looking at but I mean all this is saying is that it's running that that 1.132 version now on this we can look at the 1203 itself as well and you can look at the parameters on the 1203 which honestly I have uh, there's very few reasons why you would ever change this unless you change baud rate or something like that but it's generally set to auto but what I want to point out is you, if you right click and you go down to properties you can look at exactly what uh, firmware revision of this you're using and you can also come back into component details and look at it a little, little deeper than that. Uh, what you can do is save this to a, uh, C, a CSV file, which is basically uh, something you, you know, an a, a Excel spreadsheet, or you can uh, flash the update. Now, if you flash the update, uh, you can click on the 1203 USB, and it should pull up the. If you have these, uh, you already have pre installed the firmware flashes and you can choose and, and flash the, the 1203 USB. The current one that's uh, the latest one that's out on the, the revision right now on the Rockwell website is 1.004 so that is what we are currently using so we're not going to flash it I just wanted to show that you could flash it from here. Now we want to go back up to the, the servo drive itself you can do the same thing from this point Go to right click and properties, and then at that point, you're going to see what the server, the servo drives uh, firmware revision. You're going to see uh, different attributes of it. Now, if you click the component details, you can look at exactly what each axis is doing uh, the boot code firmware, you can look at the, the product code revision. Uh, which is your your firmware revision? Um, you can come in and, and look at the same things, uh, you know, on all all of the servos that are on that rack. Uh, you you can easily uh, save this to a CSV if you wanted to. Um, now, again, I'm not going to uh, go through that, but it's, it, all it does is show the same details that you showed right here. Uh, you can flash, but what what you will find is that it will not find the flashes. Um, the best way to flash this is to go into parameter list. And I actually I want to say it's in, in the uh, IAM. You go to configuration and access to flash. So you can select and deselect which axis you want to flash. When you're when you're doing this, and then you want to actually flash. If, you, if you're going through a, a 1203 USB, you want to flash through a, a, a hyper terminal. You do not want to flash through the drive tools, or drive executive. You want to flash through hyper terminal, which is uh, something we can cover on another, another video. But real quick, I just want to highlight the fact of where you need to change this, and as far as that goes, um, you know what. Uh, what you need to do to flash it and that way you can control you know which axis are if you want to do all of them you can do all of them but I suggest doing one at a time just for uh, precaution another thing you would I, I kind of want to bring out is this uh, parameter right here on the parameter list it's 952 this will answer a lot of questions that a lot of people have as far as can you throw a 
Kinetic 6000 into demo mode. Um, and what demo mode does is it allows you to run a servo at a derated voltage. So say you have a 480 volt servo controller, you can put it in demo mode like I currently have right now. I currently have it in demo mode. You can change that to demo mode, cycle the power, bring it back up. Uh, when you power it back on, you should see that it, this uh, parameter 952 has changed to demo mode. When it has, you can power up the power uh, 120 through the servo valve or through the servo controller and run actually run the servo motor. And what this does is it allows you to have parameters such as uh, your bus voltage. Uh, present are, are your bus voltage uh, active. There's a couple bits in there that, that are in the attributes of the servo that you just you would not get if you did not have this set. So if you're trying to run something as a, a permanent um, solution then you, you need to have this. And you can put it in, in normal mode but again just like I just put it in it's not going to take effect unless I cycle the power of the Kinetic 6000. So again, I'll put it back to my uh, demo mode, um, which I, that's currently what I'm running anyway. So, so that that's what I'm kind of what I want to highlight as far as far as you know that you can, or let you know that you can put the kinetic servo drive from a normal mode to a demo. Mode. Now Rockwell ships the servo controller drive, these uh, kinetic 6000s as there's their ship they're shipped as demo mode being in normal mode normal mode means that you should be you should apply the correct voltage you should try to run the servo at the correct voltage and everything is in, in normal operation so if it's a 480 you power it with 480 if it's 230 you power it with 230 in demo mode you can derate that power to 110 and you can still run the motor. Now what that what that does is actually takes the servo and runs it at, uh, it loses somewhat of a, its efficiency. So if you're trying to tune the servo or you're trying to do something like that, that's, that's probably not recommended. Um, it, it's just the fact that if you want to, to have a, a, a test or something of, of some program or, or something you're trying to, trying to do or, or actually show this is the it gives you the ability to do so okay so uh, real quick I just want to wrap this up that was how to set up a uh, set up the driver how to connect to drive executive to a kinetic 6000 using a 1203 USB which is uh, also known as the uh, anaconda uh, style uh, connection being that the way you know it's it looks uh, so uh, Hopefully that was helpful, and if you uh, if you need any if you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment. Uh, you know, I'll get back to you. Or if you'd like to see more of this uh, or different angles of this, maybe a hyperface or something like that, just uh, again leave me a comment, subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up, and uh, appreciate your time. Thank you.